Guys in China Hills, <laughs> it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good. Today we're going to a museum, that's literally all we're going to do today. We're going to go to the museum, we're going to go eat something and then we're going to come back home and then I'm going to continue doing my school work. <laughs> Isn't life just so fun? I'm going to get ready, I want to get ready with music like I said in the last vlog. I don't want to just be standing in like in silence doing my music, you know, my makeup. I want to like, you know create a vibe i don't know what this is on my nose i have this thing on my nose i tried to pop it it didn't work i tried to scratch it it just got a scab and now it's just back i don't know what to do y'all help me yo help me help me nigga help me guys, yeah i'm gonna do my makeup now and then i'm gonna get dressed i want to show you guys the fit because this is something really clean and cute I don't know if I'm gonna do a red lip or a dark lip, but I'm gonna do a lip, like a color. I'm not just gonna do a gloss, because I feel like when I have a sleek ponytail and I do a lip color, honey, it just eats, it just, yo, know, yo. Know. So anyways, let's do the makeup. Panda, Alexa, play the music on Spotify. Sure, here's Spotify. Uh, It's a mole. Is it a, a mole? An angles. Yes, so I draw my mousses on because I already have two. I have one here and I have one here. But when I put the makeup on, it just became so quiet in here. Damn. Anyways, when I put the makeup on, you can't see the mousses. So I put them back because beauty spots, beauty spots. Up and up visa, I'm a beauty spots. So me, I'm gonna do my beauty spots. This, whatever the fuck it is on my nose, I also turn it into a moussey because, yeah, the clear skin is not coming this summer. Evil. And then we do the, this one on the nose. Yes, and then we do this one on the chin. Sometimes if I want to be extra, I will put like one here or one here. Like here you can see there's something. <laughs> so I'll put one here today. Yebo. Isn't it just beautiful? Like, please tell me you're eating this up. <laughs> anyway, let me pack away my stuff. I have to pack away my things immediately when I'm done with them. Because the consensus in this house is that we shouldn't leave things lying around. In this house, nothing can be left lying around. So, yeah. Now it's time for me to wash my hands. And, okay. Oh my word. So, you guys must know I went to I went to Frankfurt for the boat party. And I went with a friend of mine. Name. And then yesterday I was talking to someone and then the person was like, yeah. People have been asking me if that's your new boyfriend that you posted on Instagram. And I was like, it's it. Tell a brat with me. Tell a brat with me. And then I was asking the person, like, who are these people that were asking you this, you know? It's so and so, and I really never heard of these people before. You dirty people. <laughs> I've never worn this shirt, as you can see. It's my first time wearing it today. 
I'm trying to do like in the first YouTube video, I did a get ready, a get to know me, and then I was wearing like a white shirt with my like a white top with my shirt, but it's a bit cold outside today, so I wanted to wear something a bit warmer, like a vest, you know, this right here. I bought it from Zalando, you know, um, you the usual suspect. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put my shirt on and not. Before you comment, yeah, try a silk. What, what, what? I couldn't find it. <laughs> I couldn't find my thing. This is my first time wearing this. This is, see, this is how my brain works. I just look at something and I just assume ah, it's gonna fit me. So it does. And this is a medium, I think. Yeah, this is a medium. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. And then I'm wearing this t-shirt over it, but I'm gonna take the t-shirt off now. I just wanted to show you guys the fit. Um, yeah. What happened here? It doesn't even matter. So this is the fit right now. I don't know if I'm gonna wear a necklace. I should, I think. It's gonna look a bit empty. But this is the fit. So now it's giving, I was gonna close the shirt and I ended up changing my mind. I wanted it to give to give something else it looks like i'm going to school I, I think i was just weird anyways i really wanted to wear this outfit chill so what must i do now i'll just wear it i don't care if it looks like i'm going to school i'll just like i didn't want to fold up my arms either I'll just do this so that you can see this is not a school shirt <laughs> or maybe it's just because i actually used to wear uniform that's why i think it looks like that school shape right but yeah as for the lips i'm undecided as to whether i should do a red lip or a dark lip i have these two this one and this revolution i don't even remember where i bought this honestly these are the chains and then my shoes i'm also undecided though because i wanted to make, wear my white sneakers but it's raining outside and i know i'm gonna be like stepping in the water shanties so you know, and I want to look cute because we're going to a museum and I want to take pictures of myself in the museum. The last time we went to the museum, I didn't look so cute and I was like, it's your own fault. The shoes, I'm undecided. I will show you guys when I leave the house, but yeah, I'm going to make breakfast now. I didn't eat anything. It's not even breakfast now. It's already 12, I think. So I'm just going to make some eggs um, because I know we're not going to eat until the exhibition is over and it's already almost two hours to the museum and then we'll still stay there maybe like half an hour 45 minutes and then only go eat something and then we still have to wait for the food to be prepared so okay the light actually looks really amazing in here today i don't know if it's because of my shirt or what but yeah. i changed my mind i saw that there are leftover wings so i'm gonna eat the wings with the leftover spaghetti from last night that I made. I just made spaghetti with butter, salt, and with garlic, butter, salt, and what? And lemon pepper. That's what I'm gonna have right now. Because I know this guy, this guy doesn't care about his stomach. Like, he can even go the whole day without eating, bruh. Like, and I didn't know because when we first started dating, eh? Because when we first started dating, he would always be like, Did you eat? What do you want to eat? Let's go get you something to eat. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. You know, are you hungry? Are you behind? you need anything? You want water? Yeah, come along with you. Okay, this guy is also a foodie like me, or you know. Hey, since I'm living in this house, or <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> he only eats when he thinks, like, Okay, I need to eat right now. But he could literally go a whole day without eating anything. It will not even occur to him. That he didn't eat and i have to be like excuse me we haven't eaten the whole day like even sometimes when i come from work he'll be like oh, i forgot to cook because he doesn't think to eat bruh he just survives like he'll just be like oh yeah i'm fine i had some water today and i'm like excuse me and then he'll still go to mma training or go to the gym and i'm like on oh, an empty stomach yeah yeah but i guess that's why they say food is all in the mind sana if you tell yourself you're not hungry, then you're not hungry. <laughs> Before I eat my food, I just wanted to say that I feel so bad that I put so much pressure on myself. Like, I've been very mean to myself lately. 
I don't know if anybody else notices that about themselves, but I've been very mean to myself in my brain and the way that I talk to myself and the way that I think about myself. And I was thinking like my friend came over, most Rose came over, and we were watching like because we live on different sides of YouTube, okay? We watch like completely different people. But she was showing me like some of the videos of the people that she watches and stuff. And I was like, these videos are poorly edited. Like the camera is all over the place. The storyline is all over the place. Like the person is not even like, let's say the, because for me, it's more, maybe it's my like my neurodivergence or something. But when I'm watching a vlog, man, I want it to be like, according there should be like a sequence you know like maybe because some people they just really have random days and just random things happen when they're outside but i'm like why is the story like going back and forth and then it's hey it's me from the future and then it's like a random video from the past and then you know what i mean and i was like this person uploaded this video and they got like forty thousand views you know and i'm like why am i putting so much pressure on myself like even for the boat party i've even been noticing that my vlogs are getting shorter they're like 10 minutes long 15 minutes long um 20 minutes long and they used to be like 40 minutes 45 minutes long and i guess i just put the pressure on myself because i was like okay because i asked one of my friends like why do you think my videos are not getting like a lot of views and then she was like no you have to consider like the attention span of your viewers like people don't have the ability to watch a video for like 40 minutes just sitting and watching it to the end so like maybe if you made it shorter then people can you know sit and watch the whole thing because already when people see the 40 minutes they're like Ugh, you know what i mean but then it's like now i'm looking the whole day for like highlights now i'm always like this is something that could be interesting in the vlog you know what i mean instead of just like going through my day and just vlogging and just showing people like this is what i did today and i really wish you guys were there with me but anyways that's just me um there's a reminder that you need to be nicer to yourself and i need to be nicer to myself but if you find yourself also struggling to be nice to yourself like i am um always keep in mind that you need to be aware and you need to like interrupt that thought so when you find yourself being mean to yourself interrupt the thought you know what i mean like i realized that i'm mean to myself and i'm interrupting that thought and i'm talking more on my vlog and i don't care how long it's gonna be um yeah and i'm not gonna stress about the editing i'm just gonna do you know, I'm going to be intentional and just really put my energy out there. Because that's the whole point. That's what people like about me. Is my energy, my personality, and my jokes. So, yeah. I genuinely don't know how this vlog is going to turn out today. Because my boyfriend is not in the mood for anything. Like, today is just not his day. So, I'm going to try my best to keep the mood up. But I'm really excited to go see this museum. Because they have an Namibian exhibition. With, like, artifacts and cultural stuff and everything there so yeah anyways um we are leaving now i hope you can see me if you can't see me it's not my fault um i still don't have any phone so yeah we are going now to the Wiesbaden museum in case anyone else wants to go there and you can go check it out for yourself Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you got a word for me. Oh, you don't spend no money. Huh? You don't spend no money. I am if I'm giving you the money and no, you're getting your phone. It's, it's, that's the thing. It's an investment. It's an investment when you want a new phone. Or when I, I want a new phone, you. it's a waste of money. You give me a flip phone. <laughs> I'll let you have it. I'll and every time you get mad, you're gonna slam your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you hanging yeah, up on me already. Me, yeah, that. I can see you hanging up on me already. I can't text you back, so I, <laughs> I don't know how you gotta call me. <laughs> we 
we've made it to Wiesbaden. There's the Wiesbaden McFit, and there's the Wiesbaden Aldi suit, and there's the Ralf Müller. Woohoo! Oh, Reifen und Auto Service, Einfahrt, Reifenhaus Wiesbaden. I'm so tired. I'm gonna try to make the best out of this I'm experience. Tired. I'm tired because we drank a lot yeah, yesterday. Yeah, we tired. did a lot Welcome yesterday. Man. Let's see what it says. So it says every 10 minutes is 50 cents. Two hours, a high boy. That's why nobody parked here. <laughs> Two hours is six euros, and four hours is 12 euros. How long it gonna be, man? I think we can do. Yeah, we two, can't do. Three, four, five. Yeah. How much here? Six euros. Yeah, almost six. Then let's do that. No. Yeah. What if we do? Three hours is enough. Yeah. But why don't they have one hour? Six euros is so expensive. Okay, baby, good. It's bizarre. That's until four. The time is now. See, I just dropped my phone. This is another sign for me to get the stabilizer because I keep dropping my phone and I don't want to get a new phone and then drop a new one. What? Say oh, hey, oh, niggas. No, I'm not say what are you going to say? Hey, people of God, <laughs> brothers yeah, and sisters in Christ. Yeah, let's just have a nice little <laughs> museum walk, okay? Okay, fine. Let me put the camera down. Uh, what's up everybody we are here at the Wiesbaden Museum uh, right here uh, in Wiesbaden uh, we're going go ahead we're going to check out a lot of artifacts uh, that's from Namibia uh, my girl is trying to show me it so yeah we out here yeah, stay tuned yeah Like, why don't you vlog that? Da, da, da. It all looks the same. Like, it all looks the same. It looks, this looks like Cologne, but it also looks like Hamburg. It also looks like Berlin. It also looks like Frankfurt. You know, like when you come from the main train station, doesn't it give you that vibe? When we'd go to the Indian place there, it's all the same. So now we're gonna eat something. We parked the car, but I didn't calculate nicely because the car was only parked for two hours and 
also we would have been walking in the rain if we walked to the restaurant so now we have to drive there and then eat something but we have to look on ways so we can see where we can park close to the place or what are we gonna do because i have a feeling there won't be any parking up front Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they serve two scoops at like the restaurant? Yeah, one scoop. Home? No, I just meant we have two scoops left because you said we have a whole tub. We don't really have a whole tub. There's just two scoops left because I ate the other scoops with Rose when I made it for the... He's trying to do what? 
he has $100 with some gas, he can drive this. So if your boyfriend has that, he trying to go everywhere. He don't need money for gas. He's scamming off his gas. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this shit will stop at 50, though. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm already at half the time. and they spoke more about the history because it was very surface level and I feel like especially with the and the, it's like really weird that they just put a little bit of information and they just like you know spoke about it in passing instead of like giving a lot of detail about the past of the country and where we are right now and the relations that two countries have with each other yeah and it was also so interesting to see people that I like met personally in the museum and I was showing my boyfriend and he was just like Namibia is not a real place but it is for real they is <laughs> they shutting down Dollar Tree they is I'm telling you they is for real they is <laughs> so yeah anyways please like like this and press you off thank you so much for watching please do like share and comment and subscribe sometimes you think you're subscribed but you're not subscribing you're just watching the videos all the time Please subscribe, it costs zero dollars. So, see you in the next video. Ciao.